Okay, welcome to week six, the infamous Russian splits. By far the most terrifying exercise I've ever had to do on the reformer so far. So this is my teacher, Amy, just demonstrating the series. It's three leaning forward, three pressing out the carriage without using your hands, and then going into the splits like that, which is, yeah. You can't see the look on my face really from this angle, but it's it's one of shock and awe, definitely. So in a minute I'm going to have a go and yeah, hilarity ensues. Okay, so here we go, my turn, haha. So you have to stabilize everything really with your back leg. So that takes strong hamstrings and strong glutes for the back leg. Your hips have to be in line, which for me is the hardest thing. Not only because they like to swing out there, you can see Amy correcting them, but because my awareness doesn't doesn't facilitate when I'm actually straight, so I don't know when I'm straight and when my hips are off axis. So it's valuable having a teacher for that. So that back leg is already, that hip flexor in the right leg is already stretching for me quite a lot. My left leg, the hamstrings are being worked a lot but I'm supporting a bit of my weight into into the shoulder blocks there. Now this is interesting when you come up without the hands. You see Amy stabilizing the carriage for me there because just in case I shoot it out and end up in a gory mess on the floor. So you can see I'm shaking a little bit. It's hard to stabilize everything and this was the first time I did it so it was all a bit tricky. And now this was really hard for me to change the leg position. You had to put the weight on the shoulder blocks and move the left leg. But because of my inflexibility in my hamstrings and just the terror of bending forwards like this in flexion, this bit changing position was actually really difficult for me to get the hang of. And you have to understand that in a year, almost a year and a half, I've never been in a flexion position like this without my legs being bent. I mean, this is really a, a, more of a mental block than anything for me really difficult to, to try and relax into this, especially when Amy says put your nose to your knee, I thought everything was going to explode, but fortunately it didn't, my core was held strong and I had her support so everything was fine. My teacher Amy told me this is how she got really flexible and I can uh, definitely agree with that, I can see with a lot of practice this would loosen up the hamstrings and hips really well. So that's week 6 Russian splits and check out the next video to see me on the chair.